Last week, I started a business on Turo by spending $5,000 in cash on a 2013 Ford Fiesta that ended up being a lemon. And just like that, everyone, my car is getting towed by the tow truck literally within 24 hours of buying it. The tow truck brought the car back to this spot in the garage and it's been there for about 72 hours now. In about 20 minutes though, I gotta take the car to the auto repair shop and it's about a three mile drive, so hopefully the Fiesta makes it. I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't nervous about this. I don't have the highest hopes of the car making it, but hey, you only live once and I'm not trying to pay for another tow truck. There we go. As of right now, the engine is cold, so that's a good sign. So far, so good guys. The car is still cold, so that's a really good sign. Hopefully we can make it the whole three miles. I just wanna make it there. I don't wanna pay for another tow truck. Now comes the real test, cause the car's going on the highway. It's the only way to get to the repair shop, so I don't have a choice. The car heated up super quick as soon as I got on the highway. Exit six, that's our exit. Uh-oh guys, so as you guys can see, the engine is all the way hot and I'm right about to make it to the repair shop. So this is definitely not good. I see our destination right up here. So the car's about to overheat right as we make it. So we know three miles is the limit. There we go and we made it. We made it to the car repair shop despite the car almost overheating and now let's head inside and drop the car off. Hello, Hi, I wanted to drop my car off. It's a Ford Fiesta. One second. Yep, no worries. Will? Yep. All right. And then what have we got going on? So the car is like, I bought it like literally left like a week ago. And okay. ever since then it's been like overheating. Okay. So like it almost overheated on the way here, which is like a three mile drive. So right. there's something wrong with it. And then the horn doesn't work. So the inspection will be $140. We'll figure out what's going on with the overheating yeah. issue. To get a quote together, we'll get back with you. It shouldn't take perfect. too long. I'd say an hour or two at the most. Oh, perfect. I just turned the car in at the repair shop behind me. They have a 4.9 star rating so hopefully they're honest with me about what fixes the car actually needs so with that being said before I turn the car in I actually talked to the youtuber Aubrey Janique who runs a six-figure Turo business about the situation that just happened and here's that footage yeah, I mean it's tough Yeah, I, I knew about that too. And honestly, my plan was just to get like the cheap car to get into it and then like eventually maybe sell it and buy something better with the used car market. 4,800 ended up being the final price. Yeah. My conversation with Aubrey and her fiance honestly made me feel a lot better about the situation because they let me know that stuff like this happens all the time with Turo beginners and fixing the issue I mentioned may not even be that expensive. Of course though, there's only one way to find out. Travis, this is Travis. Uh, hi, I was calling to see if you guys had an update on the Ford Fiesta. So, I had one of the guys take a look at it, found the radiators actually um, blown open up at the top of it. So we're going to want to replace the radiator. He also found the lower hose is leaking a little bit there. The drive belt is severely cracked. I'm surprised it hasn't broken off just yet. And then uh, to do that radiator, we have to pull part of the condenser, which is part of the air conditioning system apart. So we'll have to do a heat back and charge, recharge the air conditioning system again. We're looking at $1,405 after tax. You know what the funny part about all of this is? Is I bought the car. I filmed the whole thing just because I've had some, like, I, I know how that stuff usually goes. And the guy told me on camera that everything's all right with the car, no issues whatsoever. No, no, all you know, nothing, mm -hmm. nothing is clean. No leak, cool. no nothing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm probably gonna try and take the guy to small claims court or whatever because that's kind of BS. Have a good day. Yep. Of course, I'll talk to you there. Yep, bye. 
Wow, so over a thousand dollars for repairs, that's definitely not any news I wanted to hear, but I went ahead and did it. I literally don't have a choice if I want to get this car rented on Turo, but I'm going to call a lawyer next to see if I can pursue this guy in small claims court. And if I can't, I'm just going to pull up to this guy's house and settle things the old fashioned way. When I called the law firm, they didn't answer. So you guys know what that means. And just like that, guys, as you can see behind me, we're at the guy's house who sold me the crap car. And now we're going to go confront him. Hi, excuse me. Me. Um, so you were the person who sold me the car? Yeah, um, I just wanted to let you know that there were a couple issues with it that I didn't really expect. Within 24 hours, we had a blown, ra blown radiator and drive belt. So we just wanted to talk to you about it and like, you know, it was, it was kind of unfortunate. I'm not sure if you guys knew about it or not, but it, it was a $1,400 repair actually the next day. I can't help but think that that was almost like purposeful. You guys were hiding something so about see, the your car. Your blocked both of our numbers when we called him about the car. So either basically he pays for the $1,400 or we're going to small claims Yeah, we're, we're going to have to go to small claims and, court and if you guys can't. Can. My uncle's Maybe, a lawyer, uh, so. uh, yeah. okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Dave, how are you feeling right now? I can't believe people operate like this. Yeah. And everything all is good business is always the way to do it. Everything comes back to bite you. Literally everything. It just, that's how life works. You do something bad, it's going to come back. Hello. 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 My, tomorrow nine, come back. So no. like, would you guys be willing to cover some of the repairs? Cause like, I can't help but think you guys knew about it. Yeah, I know, but he come back tomorrow nine. You come back tomorrow night. So we're trying to be nice about it. We're trying to come here and just figure things out like this organically without having to get people involved and get lawyers involved and have to do small claims court. We don't want to do that. All we're saying is just to be honest and just do the right thing. And if you do that, we'll just walk away. Did you guys know about the issues before selling me the car? I, I don't know the good car because uh, you said, you said, you know, and Oh, yeah, tomorrow come back. Why not? Well, right we now? can't. We can't here. come tomorrow. That's why I came right now. It's daylight. That's kind of why too. Working in Fresco. Any good. chance to be back tonight? No, tomorrow. Well, okay. I appreciate. It. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good one. So we just left the house where we bought the crap car, and unfortunately, the only person we caught was the wife, and she really couldn't say anything other than the fact that oh, she didn't know about it, which she probably did. I feel like she was definitely lying to us, and she knew there were issues with the car, but sold us it anyway. And and sadly, the husband wasn't there because he's out working at a landscaping company. I don't know, dude. Things don't break in 24 hours. You don't have a blown radiator in that kind of time frame. Yeah. So overall, guys, it's unfortunate. I'm going to try and file things through small claims court. But for now, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I pick up the car from the repair shop, hopefully working after I pay $1,400. What's up guys? It is now the next day of this video and today is going to be a big day because number one, we're going to go confront the scammer at 9 p.m. tonight at his house. And number two, I'm actually at the car repair shop right now and we're going to go pick the car up and pay $1,400. Hello. I'm here to pick up the Ford Fiesta. Will, it's funny because the day after I bought this car, all the problems came up. No way. Yeah, we got absolutely finessed. Yeah, radiators are tough. You know, radiators are, are hard to quote unquote diagnose in the uh -huh. sense that if everything's working okay and you're not seeing any signs of leaks, you know, there's there's no indication. Yeah, and the gauge on it wasn't saying it was overheating. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, let's go through. Cool. This. Let's see what actually happened. Yeah. So what we did do is replace the radiator assembly, the lower hose, the dry belt, uh, which is good, and in the radiator and a plug and cool it. So do you think this guy who sold me the car definitely knew there was a bunch of stuff oh, wrong with oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, nice Take to meet care. you guys. Yeah. Bye. All right, guys. So I'm now back in the Ford Fiesta and $6,405 later, including the price of the car, the price to get the car towed and the price to get the car fixed. It's almost ready to rent out on Turo. The only thing I still need to fix is the horn. As you guys can see, the horn isn't working. And on top of the horn, there's also an open recall in this vehicle so I need to get that taken care of as well. The goal is to get this car listed on Turo by the beginning of March since recalls take quite a bit of time to get figured out with the Turo platform. And with that being said, we're gonna go confront the guy who scammed us because I'm not just gonna let him do us like that. For the third time now, I'm at the guy's house who sold me the crap car. I've got my friend Noah here for protection in case anything goes wrong. And I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't nervous. It's not a smart idea to come to someone's house at 9 p.m. in a bad area, but you know what? You only live once and something's telling me that everything's gonna be fine. All right, guys, we're here. So 
So as of right now, everyone, I knocked on the guy's door twice. He didn't answer. So it looks like I might have to take him to small claims court for everything unless he wants to answer. We're going to try one more time. And if he doesn't answer, we're going to have to call it. Hello? So guys, the scammer didn't answer the door when I knocked on his door, even though he told me to come at 9 p.m. But you know what? You live and you learn. I bought a crap car and I'll update you guys in the next video on everything in terms of taking this guy to small claims court and getting this car ready for Turo. It's going to be an interesting ride. I'll probably see you guys with the next episode of this Turo series soon and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.